let's uh let's switch gears then from Amanda Bynes. Um, do you guys want to talk about Johnny Depp? Hit me. Let's do it. Um, there's actually not too much new stuff to talk about with in terms of Johnny Depp, but he has so you know he he fought so. Amanda, uh, or Amanda, Amber Heard, you know, came out with allegations of domestic abuse against Johnny Depp, uh, and the he filed he filed a lawsuit in the UK because I think that's where they were living together at the time. Um, they, I guess, I guess they were married and then they divorced. Um, anyhow, well, he filed a yeah, defamation. Everyone knows they were. Everyone knows they were married. I just, I wasn't, I, with Hollywood, I know yeah, nothing know about the inter entertainment industry and I know all about the big ongoing fight and you're either a Johnny fan or you're an Amber fan. There's no, there's no middle ground here. There's no middle ground. You're either a Johnny <laughs> fan or you're an Amber fan. And I don't understand anyone who's an Amber fan. That woman I... is a liar. Her pants, I don't know, she goes outside, she must be like blazing fire coming from her pants because of how much she lies, lies, lies. She just is a <laughs> big, big, fat liar. She I will walks never around. Do. They're just always ablaze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it must be. That's what it must be. Yeah. So. Um. I. I will say. I. I did see. I did see some of the the deposition footage that's on the internet. Um. From from one of these lawsuits between the two of them, and she seems a little bit nutty. Um. So I. 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 I try to be slow in terms of my, uh, you know, my sighting, you know, and, and carrying a flag for anyone on any of these these stories. Yeah. But um, I think in this one, I tend to agree with Johnny Depp based yeah, on yeah. what I've heard and what I've seen. The, um, more you, the more you see, the more you think that her actually her, that heard is her middle name and her last name is Voices. Okay. It's Amber Heard voices. <laughs> that's 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 what you think. At least in my opinion, it's not a statement of fact. Clearly, it's in my opinion. Amber Heard voices. Yeah. So, um, so anyhow, uh, so you know his his first defamation lawsuit in the UK. I think that that ended up getting thrown out, and he tried appealing, and then it also was basically the same result. So he ended up filing in Virginia, which was interesting based on the the jurisdictional like issues there. Um, but it's been able to go forward, and now they have trial that is scheduled for April 11th. And I saw somebody shared on Twitter uh, it, what looks like an order for for uh, uh, to allow cameras in the courtroom for it. So. If that's the case, I definitely want to be live streaming that one because that is like that's a crazy case, and I feel like that would be a very very interesting one to watch and live stream and comment on. What yeah. do you guys think? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot of lot of juicy stuff there. Yeah, I, I think, think so too. That that that's gonna be like an entertainment lawyer's like. What? I mean, that's anyone who's a gossip column fan at all they're gonna love that. That's, yeah, I mean they. I mean, aside from from Brangelina, do you think there's? I mean, how many couples do you think have been splashed across the tabloids more than them? Yeah, yeah. Optimum. So, and and to you know, just as a reminder for everybody, so we because we are talking about a defamation case between two people that are that are famous celebrities. We are talking about the actual malice standard. So Johnny Depp needs to prove not only that she lied about him, that she you know lied about him publicly, but that that she did so with actual malice, meaning that she did so knowingly or with reckless disregard as to whether uh, she was uh, being untruthful. So she either had to know that what she was saying was a lie or she had to recklessly disregard it. And so I think that because of, and so, yeah. And, and I think that because of the fact that we are talking about somebody that is claiming that, that something happened to her, she can knowingly. <laughs> uh, oh yes, she, she can be found as as knowingly lying about this whole situation. If so. it didn't happen, then that would be pretty knowing. Yeah, that that would do it. Yeah, and and apparently she and and that's right, that's right. There is a there is tape footage saying that she was like, <laughs> yeah, I, I I'll just tell people that you that you hit me, that you abused me. I seem um, to I remember, remember this tape footage. I seem I to can't remember, remember the context for it though. Ooh. Context. What's what's what what does the context matter in a legal case? <laughs> context. Now clearly her defense counsel will say that, you know, 
Just because someone says that they're going to cry wolf doesn't mean there's never going to be a wolf that ever shows up. Uh, true. So, you know, you might, but it's a weird, I mean, I, I, I never heard, I never, I, I never actually heard the clip. I've heard that she said, made that claim. Have you guys actually heard the clip of her saying that? I think I have. Yeah. Because Unless she, I've imagined it. So, so no, I'm just I'm just wondering as far as on the timing of everything. In other words, did she threaten it at a time when they were like separated already, and he had no more opportunity to actually hurt her, to actually physically engage in that sort of way? When she, and then later on, she made it that claim. Like I'm just trying. I don't I don't know enough about the background here. Although I guess I guess if I follow Alita's channel, I'll get to watch the trial. And yeah. well, there you go. And I, I suggest exactly. you all do. But. I don't know so, enough about the actual detail on the timeline here. You know so what? I probably cool. will need to compile a timeline for this one yeah. if there's enough interest in it. And it sounds like there is enough interest in it because I think I think that some of the some of the reactions to uh, talking about this case have been pretty good. So if there is, and I I might want to put together a whole a whole timeline on on this case and the allegations involved and whatnot. So yeah. Um, that would probably be a good, uh, uh, a good use of my time. So, um, so we know when they separated, when she made certain claims, when when she when she made statements that are damaging to her, you know, things yeah. like that. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's that is not a good or not a bad idea. Um, hmm. Okay. Anyhow, uh, but this the, so this is going to be very very interesting to see this go all the way to trial because you know for civil cases typically they don't end up going to trial they usually end up with uh uh some some form of a settlement but in this kind of a case it seems like because we're talking about a defamation case between two people that can afford the litigation um and that are both like where their names are it's it's i would imagine that for for someone like Johnny Depp who has because of her allegations lost out on quite a bit of of work in Hollywood, um, yes. I would imagine that he would he would probably probably be much less likely to want to settle a case like this because he would just say, "Nope, I want my testimony out there." I um, clean her out, clean her out if she's lying, man. I, 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 I want my story millions, out there. I want the millions and millions of dollars I would have earned, but for your lies. Well, that and and I think I think just just it, having the opportunity to clear your name. You know, mm -hmm. like there's, cause there's, there's the, there's the financial aspect. Sure. But there's, there's also like just hashtag knowing. Me, hashtag me too. A woman would never lie or exaggerate. Listen and believe. Hashtag right. believe, believe her. Hashtag yeah. believe all women. Hashtag. But, yeah. but the thing is, the thing is that that hashtag me too is part of the reason why her claims were so particularly damaging during this era. If she had made those claims 10 years ago, it might not have had nearly the same kind of damages as did you know making those claims over the last five years so um yeah and that's it's, 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 it's part of my reason it's part of the reason like my logic brain like hates everybody sometimes because like when that was happening obviously and people were saying like leave all women people like myself were saying you know that doesn't quite make sense because it's like it's like it's like no you're a bunch of men patriarchy believe all women we're like okay and then you know sometimes we don't believe certain women when it does when it's not convenient and like that's also with the thing like black lives matter sometimes black lives matter except when they don't namely when it's a black life killing a black life those black lives seem to not matter very much at all especially if that black life is still in a womb Ooh, based <laughs> <laughs> so, are we talking but... about margaret singer are we talking about some of her history and some of her wonderful quotes oh mm -hmm. boy oh my 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 um, uh, yeah, well, I, I will say that, you know, it's especially, you know, tying it to believing all women, I understand some of the background reasoning for why people say that, you know, anytime you, you have a particular message that you try to reduce into digestible form so that other people can, you know, spread that idea, it tends yeah. to get, you know, it tends to get diluted. I understand that. But at the same time, you know, when when people are digesting the oversimplified idea, you have to like 
you have to understand that 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 oversimplified idea is what is being processed by everyone. And yeah. the idea the idea that that all women should be should be believed immediately just because they have accused someone is horse shit. I, I I will say that as a woman, you know, if if women have you ever, were have you ever if known women a woman, were trustworthy, have you ever known a woman to lie. Of course, I was just about to say if women were always trustworthy, we would not have you know a cult classic like Mean Girls. There's a reason why that is so popular among <coughs> women, and it's because women can have their knives out many, many times and in many, many situations. Yeah, that's just. Like, and then Jordan Peterson points this stuff out in other words that he gets crucified for it, you know, because he he points out that, you know, men, have, you know, with with every man, there's there's an underlying implication, there's an underlying understood threat of possible physical violence. Like that's always like in the background of like every male to male communication somewhere in the background is that understood threat of a threat of physical violence. And with women, they tend not to go with physical violence. They tend to go with words. And so Jordan Peterson pointed it out. He's like, you're accusing all women of gossiping. You're accusing all women of like the worst traits of women. I'm like, well, they have to, they have to uh, escalate somehow. It's like, so if they're not going to escalate physically, which tends to not be as true, although not universally, of course, because cat fights are a thing. So it's not like women never get physical, but as a typical rule, they tend to avoid physicality. So what do they use instead? Well, words and, you know, yeah. personality destruction and stuff like yeah. that. So, yeah. Yes. So yeah. it's like, yeah, there's there's a reason for this. And then when you try to explain it to people, people, you know, become stupid because, you know, you're saying that men and women are different. I am, in fact, saying men and women are different sometimes. The Amazing. Way, the, 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 the tactics that, that women tend to use, you know, again, broad brushstrokes, but the, the tactics that on average women tend to use are different than the tactics that on average men tend to use. <clears throat> we have different forms of aggression. It's true. I would, I would agree with that. Yes, there are outliers. Yes, there are, there are you know, nuances for, for men and nuances for women. But again, I go back to there's a, there's a good reason why Mean Girls is a cult classic. Like yes. any, any woman that, that enjoys that movie, that loves that movie, there's a certain reason for it. And there's, and that's because there's a lot of truth to a lot of the things that happen in that, in that movie. And, and high school is very often a representation in, in some ways of the rest of life, because you still deal with people, you still deal with backstabbing, yeah. whether it's in the workplace or in social groups or your neighborhood or, you know, what, what have you, it, it, it exists. In, high, in so high school never places. really ends, does it? it? It doesn't, it doesn't, it just kind of, it just kind of gets recycled in a lot of, in a lot of ways throughout, throughout life. But, in, and I would say also that when, when we are talking about, you know, Hollywood on top of that, you know, and to a, a, a different extent, you know, social media, we've got people with with bullhorns and virtue signaling and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, you give somebody an incentive to lie at the same time. And that is because they are, you know, having an outrage machine, <laughs> essentially, uh, is, is, a, is a good way of, of somebody being able to score social points. And Hollywood is one of those places where being on top of that kind of a scoreboard is can be very good for your career. So, you know, yeah. and and in and, and especially in a situation like like the Me Too movement, I would not be surprised if there were women that just decided to take advantage of a of a particular uh point no. in time. And and for their own career, whether no. you know, regardless of whether oh. or not they actually had experienced something. It's and and the the whole Me Too movement, whatever level of 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 lies women were going to tell before that, the Me Too movement only amplified that because you 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 it becomes that much more powerful weapon when women see, hey, I'm going to be believed because I'm a woman, so it becomes a a far more damaging way of they they understand that it's a far more damaging way of hurting men. So it's that much more likely that they'll wield it untruthfully. Yeah. It's almost like the Me Too movement makes women less believable because it's like, well, yeah, this is the first place she's going to go. So, you know, it, it's and it's unfortunate because there are women who are victims. There are women who need to be heard and be believed. It's 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 kind of it's kind of unfortunate because you know, on in a certain sense, I agree with the fact that you know women had 
been ignored for too for for too long. I I I can't I, you can't deny that. I don't know if it's still the same to I don't know if it's still the same in this century or not. But for a long time, that certainly happened. When women's claims were just readily dismissed. I don't know if at the by the time the Me Too movement was coming along, whether it was still a necessary thing or not. But at one point, it, it probably would have been a necessary thing. At this point, though, it's just out of control. I mean, that's just my take on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Just, yeah, I'm just one sure. man. Well, I hope I hope whatever the truth uh, truth is will will come out, which is one of the goals of trials. Period. Right.